Hey everybody, Fibori7 here and welcome back to the channel with your favorite video of the week, Marky Matchup Predictions. Uh, I hope you saw my video yesterday where I showed you that I made profits with Marky Matchups and there's a lot of people that did profits with Marky Matchups as well. Um, and we got 75% right. The only one that uh, we got wrong was the one that, well, I personally said, no, it's not going to come up because of these reasons and it didn't come up. But let's start this and uh, here we go. First of all, Feyenoord versus 20. I want to apologize 20 fans for the symbol. I know it's not the right one, but I'm using Google images to get uh, things right so I don't have uh, copyright strike and stuff like that. Um, I'm not, I didn't even do research on this one because this one's going to be the weakest one. It's probably going to be like Porto and Baga last week where they ask for uh, league players and the nation from that league. So in this case, will be uh, Dutch players from the Erevit. Uh, there's probably going to be silver players, stuff like that. So quite, quite easy. Then the next one we have AC Milan versus Juve. Two very, very big teams. Uh, there's no other big games to be honest. So they're separated by seven points. Milan's in third, if I'm not mistaken, and Juve is just down there. But it's it's the Giants facing. Okay, it's the Giants facing. So yeah, we'll we'll go like that. The player that you can invest for Milan is Bakayoko, a CDM, good nation. Uh, this could be a problem if this was the biggest one, but this is not the biggest match, to be honest. I really think that um, it's going to be a low-rated squad. So you can get Bakayoko and use him like, as a striker, and it's not going to affect the, the camp that much. You'll be able to do it. Uh, but yes, French uh, and... Milan. Well, French doesn't mind if you put him off, off position, but if you put him in the right position, it's a good nation to link. Then you have Rugani, which uh, is good. I like to invest in the center backs. The, oh yeah, by the way, most players are like 450. There's like uh, Bakayoko in Reine in the, in the next one is uh, 350. But yeah, Rugani, center back. I feel much safer this year investing in uh, center backs and goalkeepers. I already mentioned last week why, uh, but it's basically Cam. Then um, you can go with Bayern Munich. Oh yeah, no, one second. Let me go back. Also on this one, uh, be sure to um, uh, be sure to have at least one from each because they might ask for that one player from each side. But I really think it's going to be just one player from one side. That's what I'm thinking. But you better be safe than sorry, you know. Then you have Bayern München versus Dortmund. And this is probably why it didn't show up last week. Because it's Bayern uh, versus München. Uh, sorry, not München versus Dortmund. Hey, I do my mistakes. And I assume that I don't start over. Um, yeah, they are in third place and in fourth place. 15 points each. Uh, Bayern is, in, is ahead because the goal difference. But yeah, anything can change. This is a very important game for the season. It can affect the winner and the loser in mentality um, purposes. Some will, uh, the winners will have more self esteem and the losers low self, low self esteem as usual. Uh, but I really, look, if I have to put my eggs in one basket, this. This uh, marquee matchups, I would put on this one. But I would definitely put on this one. You can invest in Ulreich and in Reina. I think this one, they will last one from uh, both sides. So one from Bayern and one from Dortmund. So I'm going to be buying um, Bayern players, to be honest. <laughs> then we have Liverpool versus Arsenal, the big game. I personally, I'm going to go against everyone, okay? I'm going to go against Everyone, everyone's saying Arsenal. I don't think Arsenal's going to come. I think West Ham versus Fulham is going to be the one. But I'm going to put this just to be safe, then sorry. And to avoid people going in the comments, Fubu, you don't know what you're saying. Uh, and yeah, sometimes I don't know what I'm saying, but not today. Uh, why I don't think Arsenal versus Liverpool is going to come up? First of all, I know they're two big teams, but it's not the... In the most intense game in the Prem, okay? It's not the most intense game in the Prem. I think a Liverpool versus Everton is way more intense than Liverpool versus Arsenal. Or uh, an Arsenal versus Tottenham is way more intense. You saw this, like, 
yesterday because today it's Sunday. You saw that yesterday, the pre one, everyone was going crazy with the Arsenal versus Spurs. That was a way more intense game. And they didn't only make it on the marquee matchup last week because City and United is a way bigger game. I really don't think this one's gonna be in, but I'm going I'm going with the flow. Okay, I'm going with the flow. Um and I will uh, put Liverpool versus Arsenal in here. You can invest in Fabio Vieira as a cam. Uh, I'd rather you guys invest in center backs, but they're a bit expensive from both sides. And then uh, Timikas on the Liverpool side. Uh, they were at 450 coins as well. I think we're going to ask two players from either team, either two from Liverpool or two from Arsenal. Me personally, because of the reasons I just mentioned, I will avoid, okay? I will avoid this one. But uh, I'm not a financial advisor. You do what the fuck you want. <laughs> I just like the curse at the end. Guys, that's the video for today. Please leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon. And if there is one video that will beg you to share, it's this one. Please share this video so more people can make money and more people know me because uh, hey, if, if I can blow up and uh, people start noticing more, I wouldn't mind. There should be a sub button up here. There should be uh, over there something my latest video. And over there, there should be my Platinator channel where I do completionist stuff. Good investments. I will see you on the next one. Bye.